When you're ready to attach your resistors, you're going to need a pair of needle nose pliers and the four resistors for this kit. So what I like to do is I take my needle nose pliers and I go about the thickness or the width of the needle nose pliers at the front here over and I rotate 90 degrees. And what that does is it gives me a nice bend, a good bend in that wire that I'm going to use to help get this nice and flush to the board. Okay. So we don't want to go right against the resistor. We're going to go a little bit over and we're going to turn 90 degrees. So now we've got this wire bent ready to go in. Okay. Now use your kit instructions or the uh, demonstration board to where to properly place this. If you, what you learned about resistors, we know that they're not polarity sensitive. So even though this gold is on the left side here, that is just telling us that that's our resistance tolerance side. So we can put it in either way. I like to keep all the tolerances to one side, but that's just a preference. It's not going to have any performance or functionality difference to it. Okay. So the goal is here when we place this, it's nice and flush to the, the board, right? Because I bent the wires so nicely, we were able to do that. What I like to do is once I get it in, I hold it flush and I, on the back side, I bend the wires out. So you can see that the wires bent a little bit. So as I hold it, I can bend the wire out. That helps to hold it in location when I solder it. When soldering our components on, starting with our resistors, it's a little bit different than what we did before because we're not going to put the, the solder onto the tip first. What we're going to do is take the tip of our soldering pencil, press it down against the board and also against our component, count to five, two, three, four, five, and then I'm going to add a little bit of solder, give it a second or two, and then I can pull away. And if everything came out right, you should see a drop of solder there, kind of teardrop shape. If I didn't hold on to my component long enough, what ends up happening is I don't heat it up to the same temperature as the solder, and it won't actually stick. It should be the entire way around that pin, okay? So we'll do it again over here. I'm going to hold it down. So one, two, three, four, five. Then I can go ahead, touch, pull away. That component should be secured. If you notice that the solder, maybe it didn't completely go the whole way around, all you need to do is hold on to the lead again, as well as the solder here, and remelt it, give it a couple seconds, and it should find its way around. Okay. Be careful that you don't add too much solder. So if we take a look at this from the side, what we're going to find out is there's just a teardrop shape of solder there. We don't want too much more than that. Okay. When this is ready, make sure that you get it checked. And then we can go ahead using a pair of our side cutters. We can clip it with the angled side facing down. Clip it as flush to the board as we can. And if you put too much solder on, sometimes you end up even cutting a little bit of the solder off. And that's okay, because we want it to be nice and flush. All right. Please make sure that when you do get when you do cut these, you've already checked by me. How do we know we did a great job? First off, the resistor is nice and flush against the board. If I try to move it, if I try to wiggle it, it doesn't actually move. It's stuck to the board. And when I look on the back side, I've got just a couple of little drops of solder there fully around there. There's no holes anymore left.